<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Reggie's Podcast Year with three blokes who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. It's fight week, boys. Oh, the time's yeah. come to fucking punch on with other podcasters mm. just for your listeners' entertainment. Wow. <laughs> fucking oh. It's I can't wait week. to get in there and fucking have a crack. Um, we're going to recap the troll of the century a bit later mm-hmm. from one Ryan Garcia. Um, massive upset in the world of boxing. We've got plenty to talk from both footy codes. Settle the fuck down, West Coast. Um, <laughs> boys, how are we feeling? I know personally I can't. I couldn't be more excited for the weekend just yeah. to get in there and put on a fucking show for the Reggie's community oh, because yeah. they deserve it. Saturday couldn't yeah. come any sooner. They fucking deserve it. I wish I was walking in now. I know. Like it's just fucking, but I'm, I'm very keen. They're very keen to get in there, test ourselves, put in the yards, keen to fucking just put go on a fucking a show. The last week, the last two weeks have been fucking the, like just the the whole build up to yeah. it. We're going, but once I'm there, mate, oh. I reckon Thursday. Once I'm on the Goldie, I'll just you will not be able to take the smile off me face. Oh, I just think uh, we were talking about it before the show about how like a lot of boxing events, you know, it might be Timmy Zoo headline and, mm. and people will rock up half an hour before he before he fights. I think this is going to be so fun because it's not, nothing like that. There's not even really a main event. It's just fucking one happens to be last. Mm. It's like it's just fun from the start to the end. It's just it's going all to be great to get on the piss. Mm-hmm. Mate, Cam got down there today. Yesterday, if you're listening, he reckons there was guns already there carrying on. True. Wow. They must have been on their week off. They are going to be straight there. That struggling is. by Saturday. Yeah, come Saturday. Oh, They'll be on the sleep. fucking come down. Yeah. But anyway, very exciting <laughs> times. I think as the weekend is, it'll be uh, good. And I'm actually glad that we've got something to do on that Thursday, record the punch show and yeah. actually watch the Anzac games that's together. Right. Mate, there's okay. three games of footy on yeah. Anzac oh, no. Day. Yeah, well, that's after. what usually Warriors and Melbourne play. Yeah. And now they've changed it up. Titans are getting Wars a gig. and Titans. What yeah. the fuck? Mm. Weird. Uh, anyway, boys, I might be in some real trouble. Yeah? Um, what? The fight. <laughs> oh. But it'll be awesome. Fun. You know... He's got a win, I reckon, for his brand. For oh, the yeah. for the Jarchi brand, the mm. big tough country boy fucking shooting guns, shearing sheep out fucking country New South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> that cunt's got a win. He will, yeah. It's like a must win. So you reckon for his like, TikTok audience. But cunt, look at me. I'm fucking Everyone knows I can't fight. You're, oh, six. Six. You're 0 6. You've got nothing, like no expectation coming in. I've this. got absolutely nothing to lose. My street credit cannot get any lower when it comes to fucking fighting. That is true. That's true. <laughs> it is a must All win. the weights on his shoulders. Mr. Jack Arch yeah. Dale. That's your correct name I've just called you by. So Cop that. Fucking hell, yeah. man. Cop that. No Real pressure. Name. I hope fucking you've no put pressure. the yards in because, yeah, it's a must win. Yeah. That's a, I keep saying it, but I'll, and I will keep well, saying it. Well, you're right. You're not wrong. Yeah, am I there. wrong? No, I'm no. right. Mm. That's his whole that. fucking persona. Well, yeah. pressure's, pressure's on him. 100 Balls in his court. I've got nothing to lose, mate. Are you a real <laughs> fighting country boy? Tell me what I've got to fight. lose. Oh. I've already lost mm. six times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, those punches on Gundoon will hurt more. Bro, that never, was bare fisted, no mouth guard. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I've never thrown one back. Yeah. You don't so know what you're capable of. I'll just stand in the corner. Throw it from three metres away and that'll be better than I've ever done. (laughs) 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 Fucking oath. All the pressure on the big man. Yeah. Uh, And that's why he's favourite. So he would have put the work in, but I reckon. Oh, yeah, mate. I I honestly think everyone has. Like, I don't think maybe some more than others, but everyone that I've seen or talked to, I've seen the fat stripped off the faces of so many lads Mm. who are are punching on, um, which is good to see them hook in except for klutz. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. To, <laughs> it'll be good to see it happen. I'm fucking keen. Oi, the got a couple of updates here for you. Just, just quickly just, before yeah. you say that, do you reckon he's he might be getting into the soft range, or is he still a solid heavy eight? Oh, he's heavy. Oh, Maybe yeah. heavy six. <laughs> heavy. You can't. can't not heavy. A what is it? It goes heavy ten, heavy nine, heavy eight, soft seven. No, nah, he's six. heavy eight. I he's reckon. He's, he's not in He's dropped. Soft seven. He's dropped a bit of puppy fat around the face. I reckon. So but he's gone from a heavy nine to. Yeah. A, he might have track upgrade to a heavy eight. Yeah. yeah. They've, they've sorted out the drainage. <laughs> not That's much about an it. <laughs> <laughs> but um. But anyway, the the game plan stays like it is. But I think it's pretty obvious. I'm not giving away any secrets. He's trying to land bombs. I'm ducking, weaving, moving, and hitting him more. That's what's going to happen. Copy. So, uh, Very cool. yeah, fucking, I just want to give you some points. So, frequently asked questions, guys. 
Um, there is going to be a third commentator with Hello Sport for the pay-per-view, and that will be Danny Green, which is uh, pretty cool, I reckon, to have someone with Fucking his credibility nice. in boxing who can actually maybe make some comments to do with which punch was thrown, yeah, et cetera, yeah, yeah. while yeah. the fights are happening, and then have the boys dribbling off the back. Um, the press conference will be at Broadbeach Cats Football Club at 5 p.m. on the Friday, guys. Um, it will be – the bar will be running there, so you can come and fucking have a tin and get into your work, and it'll also be getting streamed on YouTube. So look up youtube.com slash at alpha events PTY LTD, and you'll be able to watch that live on uh, on YouTube. Um the boxing, so the pay per view will be accessible worldwide for thirty bucks Australian. Um, Four thirty p.m. Pay per view starts, and uh, you can Chromecast it to your TV or you use a HDMI cord. It's not one of those weird things that won't let you. Mm-hmm. Um, being told that it will. And if you're going to the event, the gates open at three p.m. for a four p.m. sharp start. That'll be all the like introducing the people, commentating, all that stuff, all the in-house stuff, and then fights kick off at four thirty. Please have your tickets with you. I know that sounds stupid, but there's so many <laughs> stupid cunts in this world. <laughs> it's so, on your phone. You can't fuck. Have it on your it. phone or paper. As long as there's a barcode there, you're sweet. And you can get your wristband for the after party at the boxing event. Go to the registration desk on the first floor with the ID. Get your shit sorted. And the after party, just wear some shoes. Other than that, we don't have a dress code. <laughs> but remember, the casino has their own. So if you want to slip out and go put a punt on or something, remember that has nothing to do with us. Yeah. Other than that, boys, fucking let's go. Fire the fuck up. It's it. What I've what I've been talking myself like into is I'm going soak it up. Like as in when I'm down fucking there, nice. walking in there, looking out, about to walk out. Just remember to go. This is pretty cool. Soak it up. Have a crack and remember it because I think it's going to happen so quick. Yeah, it'll fly by. Well, the the lead ups sort of happen fairly quick. I reckon the first quarter mm. of the year is fucking gone. I just yeah. think it's awesome that we get the chance to experience like the you watch all the boxing and UFC through years. We get to experience that without the weight of millions and millions of dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, your yeah. job it's mm. like the world will keep fucking turning if i get knocked out or not so i'm just gonna fucking enjoy it that mm. was the first thing we said or i tried to at the start of the year when we were starting to you know go oh fuck let's you know maybe we should fucking do something mm. Mm. and we're, i was like let's stop let's just take all the pressure off and enjoy the actual training part because yeah. mm. fuck me what are we doing it for if we can't enjoy it That's mate right. i'm um I, like like I said, I've put heaps of pressure on myself to win just because I want to and sail off into the sunset. But, like, even just me personally, health-wise, I'm like, fuck, man, I've had to win massively there. Yeah. It's been just... a good excuse for everyone to get back in shape. Fuck mm. nice. Fuck yeah. So, and I'm keen to get the fuck out of shape as soon as I finish oh, swinging in bro, the third round. But stop it. I am so fucking thirsty. Stop it. I'm going belief. to go on one of the biggest Larry Enders. <laughs> fucking <laughs> straight for the ages. That Monday fucking flight home is in serious what time danger are we flying? of not getting caught. Yeah, <laughs> what time are we flying back? Oh, fucks me. It's in the RV, though. Thank Boy, how fuck. good is this? So, do you know how there's the little fellas fighting? Yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. ant weight bout. So at the start, I was like, oh, I don't know how the boys will go. Like, I don't know them personally. Um, but there's been a bit of small talk getting around. Um, <laughs> and they're fired up, man. Like, one bloke is training that hard and he's serious. Like, True. fucking oath. And I'm like, this is prime. They're going to come yeah. out and try and kill each other. That's what, what are they want to say. They come to the press conference too. Like, I reckon they might even have a little fucking scrap. Like, they're, we're going to have to prime them <laughs> apart. It's going to be prime. fired up. Get him a booster oh. seat and fucking hook in. What's the go? <laughs> uh, they're not wearing 14 ounces, surely. Mate, I don't know. I don't know the logistics. I just know that they're coming to fight. <laughs> that dead is set, man. fucking unreal. They're coming to blue. Good <laughs> And shit. I'm keen. They're after my yeah. fight, so I'll be having a tin sitting I'll back be before fucking I have blind. a shower. I'll, 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 I'll have missed that <laughs> yeah, one. <you're>... <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Main event after that. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, boys, Reggie's, girls, fucking whoever, come down. If you're going to be there, come to the press conference on the Friday. You may as well. Be a part of the whole spectacle. Soak it up. Most Mm. of the entertainment is the fucking lip game because that's what we do. We all get down there fucking Anzac Day and, like you said, just I'm just going to be soaking it in. Yeah. How good. Righto, another big topic last week, the jersey sellout, boys. Oh, yes, I think, um, boys and girls. After we mentioned that there was just a handful left on last Friday's punch show, yeah. there was 
At some point that day, there was one small left for yeah. a while. And before the 48-hour mark, so from when they went on sale, before the 48-hour mark, we'd sold out, which yeah. is fucking awesome. unreal effort. Honestly, unreal mm. effort. And we have got our number up so dialed in. Yeah, yeah. We know oh, our audience. Yeah. Fucking dialed in. Mm. That's the perfect we know time. About jobs. 40 hours. Yep. No one can say, I oh, missed it. No. No one can, you know. And well, they can say they missed it, but it's their fault. 40 hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do awesome. Better. I just can't think is enough. Yeah, oh. full credit to you. Man. And we, <laughs> what about the big rush man in the RRLC? He's got oh, his already. Jackson Rush. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like that, yeah, there's a fair few landing, and we've still got a fair few of the week. So there's a good chance we'll start seeing some in the crowd at the fucking. Oh, I fucking hope yeah. so. Well, I want to see a sea of them. You've only got today as you're listening yeah. to get them because yep. they won't come. Oh, you might Friday, actually, because yeah, yeah. you might not be coming down till Friday. True. Mm. Lockie Hill, that was a cr- cracker in the RLC yeah. as well. Um, but, yeah, the rush man just had no stri- no pants on with the jersey. That's beautiful. <laughs> just hanging over his pecker. <laughs> Fucking good mullet, day. Yeah. Mm. It's glorious. See, he Barb's strutting around in his too. Yeah, He's yeah, pretty yeah. proud, Barb. He won't fucking take that off. Ah, fuck no. You can't. You should be fucking sharing. They are comfy, um, man. Like I said, now you all know if they've rocked up, you know what I'm talking about. As yeah. soon as they you put it on, the went, this is why it took six months. Yeah. Mm. I, I had, a, had a mate who got his, mm. and his missus was like, what the fuck's the go with the three-quarter sleeves? Yeah. And he explained, like, that's an old-school jersey. That's yeah. how they were. And she just didn't understand, unfortunately. So, fellas, when the missus doesn't get it, Mm. You don't have to leave her. It's all right. Yeah. Just give her the head on the shoulder, pat, pat, there, there. Like, it's okay. It, it is. Right? It does suck because, like, you that you love it and they just don't get it and you can't <laughs> explain it to them and it hits you. It'll but be so just ring your mate. Yeah. Ring your Reggie mate He'll and say, it. but how about these women with the sleeves? Just turn on YouTube, put some fucking <laughs> highlights on, say, yeah. sit there, love. Look at this. You yeah, fucking leather, understand why this <laughs> yeah. is so glorious. See, Where's his tea? Why is he using a bucket of sand? And mate, <laughs> that's just how they did if it. If you're doing something minimum, like if you're starting a fire and you think it might lick at the sleeves, just roll them up a bit if mm. you need to. That's right. You mm. know? It's all that's good. what Lucky watch, Tape's for. Watch Rattery Mark Rome. Coyne score in the corner for <laughs> Queensland. <Yeah. laughs> Back when wingers were fucking wingers. wingers. <laughs> yeah. Fucking oath. Before, <laughs> Before the they were just system. glorified, muscly, soft cunts. <laughs> <laughs> they knew they'd help and they just fucking Shout did. out to Wingers. Shout out to Wingers. We, haven't we love them. Yeah. Oh, like, you they give us some fucking look, good entertainment. They're, yeah, they're a big about. part of our game. Yeah. You know, but you got to give them shit. So yeah. like a drummer in a band. <laughs> <laughs> Except Travis Barker. He's pretty cool. You reckon? <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Righto. Well, let's get into a bit of fucking sport, boys. Let's fucking talk a bit of, bit of league. I want to just talk about a few big points to come out of the round before we get into the games. Yep. Good news. No, it's not. It's terrible news. But Queensland have solved their issue of fitting Walsh oh, and Ponga into the same team. What? Ponga gone three, for up to three months, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that. So up to, they said, because it's a weird one where you don't have a set time limit yep. on it. Um, the Knights are in serious trouble. Oh, this is me. He will not play again this year if they aren't a threat of playing finals. What's so, that's right. There'll no, be no, no need to rush him back. Three or four rounds to go is when he's due back. Mm. If they're nowhere near it, they'll fucking just say, head uh, to Bali. Take early. the year off. What yeah. did he? What did he do? What injury? Some foot. Some fuck. Was it a Liz Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Liz Frank injury. That's yeah, what Corey Horsburgh yeah. did with his foot. I know the injury you're talking about, but it takes I, um, ages to heal. That's what it's called. The Liz, Liz Frank injury. Frank, yeah. Yeah. L-I-S-F-R-A-N-T. Who the fuck came up with that? I think Liz. Liz and Frank? Liz, Frank. I think, Liz Franklin? <laughs> I think Liz Frank literally made it up and then went, I'm calling it up to myself. <laughs> That's fucking unreal. Just made an injury up. Well, I'm just, I'm jacing that. <laughs> oh, but okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're correct with the injury. I don't know if yeah, KP I know it's has called it, Liz though, Frank. Yeah. I just know it's a pretty serious one that takes ages to mm. heal. Something to do with blood flow not being massive down there. So it is. Is it? Yeah. He's done that. It's a, That's it's a cunt. L- it's L-I-S. So yeah. Liz Frank. Liz Frank. Oh, Liz Frank. Fuck. Uh, to his right foot. That sucks. So that's why they said they don't know how long. Like they yeah, said. Like, I think one. I think um, Fatala Mariner did it and he had like oh. a, a – maybe that was it um, and it took ages because like they said, there's something to do with the lack of blood flow around it which heals you. Mm. Yeah, so it takes true. ages to fucking How's heal. it happen? 
stood on, fucking roll. Fucks, it's not an ankle injury or yeah. I don't know, man. That's a fucking one. AIDS. I was so is. excited to watch those two carve up the dad kisses. Mm. At least we've Fuck. got a great replacement with Walsh or KP oh, was going to Walsh be was going to play yeah, anyway. But I just feel bad for Newey. That yeah. was their saving grace. They're fucked now, but man. they were they fucked have, anyway. They were fucked anyway. Terrible. But it was so just who, all on Ponga, and now what do they got? They well, well it might help them because they might start trying to play some other footy other than yeah, give the use ball the to twelve Caleb. other blokes in the field. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be shattered too. The poor cunt. Yeah. yeah. So also yeah. same game. Big uh, Jack Hetherington oh, t- taking on Little wild. Reed Marnie in the tunnel. Me versus Clark. He is a proper fucking hothead, that can't yeah, eh? he, Everything uh, I've he's seen. He's hopeless. He just can't help himself. It's weird. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon that he was like half joking in the sheds? It looked like, like it. Because he was I thought it was a piss take because he was smiling and he kind of like, you know, bouncing around, shaped up. But, and, but when he, as soon as you shape up, that's fucking it's on, yeah. isn't it? But everyone... Is coming out saying he's a hothead. He's a hothead. Gus Gould's come out and said, "Yeah, he Here spoke to me a few times. He's fucking. He's a bit of a blower. You know, his emotions get the better of him sometimes. Yeah, they do. Which he's they fucking. I used to yeah. call him crazy. Thanks eyes. for that, Gus. He played played at Penrith, <laughs> and I used to. He used to shit me. Give penalties away. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Like it'd be in a grind, an arm wrestle, and he'd just come in and fucking like clothesline someone. <laughs> Was he? <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon it was a fucking? Mick Ennis, Nathan Hindmarsh situation where Reed's just been peppering him all oh, day. Prob- probably. <laughs> and he's gone Reed is fucking lippy too. If you see any sort of scuffle, he's straight in there. Because I reckon good hooker is, though. That's yeah, fair he's a game. Bulldog. If you fucking... I reckon he was trying to... If he's lipping. You know, uh, read a bit of Battle of Brookie with the whole <laughs> sin bin there in the tunnel. Against Reed Marnie. The yeah, tough. I was like, <laughs> man, that was just fucking weird. There was all Bulldogs blokes standing in there. A couple of them had a smile on their face as well. To, they didn't know uh, what the fuck was going on. Hetherington's credit, though, he has settled down a lot yeah. since he's gone to Newey. Like, I think they've really sorted out that mm. brain snap shit. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. pretty unlucky, that scuffle that he got in. like it, That was a bit of a push and shove and yeah. a bit of shit. Like, yeah. And, uh, but the, that, just, that in the, you don't do that at, in an NRL level. You don't no. wait for a bloke. Because he's got suspended. Tunnel. That many it? cameras, man. You just fuck. I've got a few yarns about that back in the old boys' day in the Marley Brown Tunnel. <laughs> yeah. A couple of t- 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 touchy yeah, what got happens fucking under there stays under there. <laughs> but we'll leave that. <laughs> yeah, no idea what you're talking about. Uh, that's proper. Uh, shit, so yeah, there was a few things like that. Um, we're going to talk more about the fucking eels coming up, but that's more about the game. So. See, Dale Finucane retired. Yeah, effective immediately. Effective immediately. Great won't, career. Won't get to see the big run out. The big steam oh, he just out. sprints every what, fucking time. What happened? Hey? Did he did he get hurt or did well, that's he what I'm just... curious. Was it an injury? So he's going fuck I it or call it quits. Don't think he's played too many family. games. It'd be really nice to know it's your last game and run out with that bit of a celebration. But it might might be something. We well, look at the bloke. Injury. He's got more tape on him than any other player in the fucking. I don't field. think he's been getting picked. Right, but whether that's because oh, yeah. of injuries and shit. But anyway, good on him, mate. Like he had such a fucking good yeah. career, he... and he can sing and play guitar. So yeah, he's a fucking into... entertainer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, that, Workhorse yeah. of a player, though. Mm. Like, as soon oh, as he yeah. went to Sharks, that was a great pickup. He led their forward pack. Yeah. Led the whole team for a was few years. Was he there? No, he wasn't there in 2016, was no, he? No, he was at Melbourne then, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, oh, just with the, um, like, on the topic of controversy and that with the NRL, this isn't a big one because Penrith ended up winning by a fair bit, but do you know that call with Sean mm. Johnson where he got the touch the leg and it was a fucking penalty, went to extra time, ended up being a draw. Brad Snyder had the same exact thing happen to him in the Penrith game. Mm. Nothing got said. Agency to get puts on report, but nothing gets blown. And I'm like, that's the sort of shit they got to just, if they're going to do it, do it fucking the whole way. do it. Make it black and white, it was not a, in winning chances. It was an infield kick. It wasn't a drop goal or no, anything. No, it was yeah. an infield kick, but like same as that, Ilias. Yeah. Like if they're going to do that in a game... Like, because otherwise Warriors lose that game. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if they do it in that scenario, fucking do it in play. Otherwise, what are you doing? There's wow. going to be consistency in the timing. Don't think about the repercussions after it, what it's going to lead to in the game. Make a bit of black uh, and white. bit of that's coming up in another code in AFL, as well. Yeah, Because yeah. it was just was like the, the week after. It's yeah. It's like, come on, cunt. You've just set the precedent last week and you made it like it is. Stick to it. Yeah. Otherwise, you've just given Warriors the win and not followed on with it now. Well, the, the poor old fucking Crows lost a game of footy because of inconsistency Can't. because the wow. siren. I just was... got fucking pounded. Anyway, that'll get mentioned. That's coming out. up. Soon, that yeah. is My hole out. is wide. <laughs> Large. You can blow Fart into it like a bottle. Silent. <laughs> um, 
The Storm boys were just clinical in another tight one, eh? Mm. Just too good. Yep. They just keep doing it. That's yep. their another win. Very like a like real scraping close in, win, yeah. scraping in, getting yep. it done. Munster had a sin bin. There was all a bit of shit going on in the second half, but that try was. Uh, I want to give raps to um, what's the cunt's name Coates. Yeah, but the bigger reach. Yeah, fucking piss poor defence. How do soft. you not stop that cunt? Hard yeah. to stop that. He's so big and fucking long. Yeah, Jace, how true. many more tries till you start? Talking um, Katoa into your multis as the second row, try option, oh, he bro. scored again. I said it last week. I was like, every fucking time I watch a Melbourne game, he's scoring. Is he mm. becoming the new Hamole? Well, he's just the one to look out for. They know? hit him short every time. So mm. Maybe you've missed him, boys. You might have missed him. Can't even do year. it this week either because I'll be playing on Thursday. Uh, what about the fucking mighty St. George oh, Illawarra? That Chow. was huge. What Oi, is doing? Unbeaten, unbeaten <clears throat> at Wynn Stadium this year. Keep an eye out for it that. It is for called tips. win for yeah. a reason. Yeah, yeah, that is. So, fucking what a performance, man. They uh, just when looked clinical. Johnson just rolled in like it was a game of touch for that first yep. try, and you're like, oh, here we go. Lomax and back in the centres. Mate. Killed got it. All six, got all six votes for yeah, the Dally M's. M's. He played his best game. What is yes. going on? Back into his preferred position too, just to kind of rub salt is into the dragons. Is one Shane say, Flanagan but just I, going, ooh. I feel like, like though go. that like I think that's a coincidence with just how the whole energy was going though. I reckon yeah. fucking th- th- they were just on that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was on. He would have played well on the wing as well. Mate, but that, in saying that, that's what they can do. The Lomax aerial try and the fucking mm. Terrell Sloan length of the field was yeah. so good, man. He was way too strong. How he made is he Dallin so look shit. fast? Yeah. Fuck, he's fast. And he's got those massively long strides, but he's actually quite small. He is going to be a fucking gun in the next few years because, like, he has a typical young fullback where he's got pure talent. Mm. It's just a little, like, oh, just pure immaturity and, like, mistakes with young age that come. Does he need he some will... size? I think yeah, he oh, does. he'll get that. It'll be like Ado Carr. Remember when yeah. Ado Carr come in, how skinny he was? But even look at Walshy, like, man. He's one of the premier fullbacks true. in the company. He's fucking tiny. He's man. got a Sloan build. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I think that's just the fucking future. And I what? just reckon anyone in that position, a fullback, you're going to have some fuck-ups early on. Look mm. how many mm. high-pressure situations a fullback is in, like, nearly every bomb. Yeah. That's well, a, there that's was a like one young fullback that we'll get into that <laughs> struggled. Oh, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Yeah, Shady. when we get to the Raiders, huh, that yeah. was welcome to first grade, son. Pretty Second much. game, but I hope they mm. fucking stick with him, you know. Oh, yeah. Because he'll nah. be a talented player. Well, when we get to it. How yeah. good is fucking Flanagan going, though? Oh, mate, what he was he always done. going to. Kyle Every, or Shane. But so quick. <laughs> mate, after. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. Yeah. After, yeah. After, actually um, good footy too. after he got off his ban, whenever clubs would talk about getting a new coach, always said fucking Flanagan. Mm-hmm. Like, you heard him in, on Fox. I don't like too many Fox commentators, but he yeah, we know. Was, <laughs> he's always been so cluey and, like, I've heard and gone, he fucking deserves a job, eh? Like, well, he, he, knows, he took the Sharks rugby to a league mind. You've yeah. always said that about him and Buzz. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's um, Blocker and Brandy who are really yeah, but, fucking smart uh, as well. Oh, yeah, that's the ones you yeah. like, yeah. Um, that, heaps. Right. Now, we're going to talk about this. Second game Friday, this performance... We're not going to talk about – oh, we might talk about the Dolphins being good, but the Eels, listen to this, eight tries in 25 minutes, averaging just over three minutes a try. Eight that, times, man. Pathetic. That's just fucking Eight shit. tries in 25 minutes. That is not something you want to hear ever, and that is nothing to do with Mitchell Moses. So anyone no. who said, oh, Moses is out, that is a fucking Just defense. terrible defensive Defensive effort. attitude. Mate, that, so sloppy. Oh. That reminds me, like, look at those minutes at the end, 63, 69, 71, 74, look at the 57, 55, 51. That's like when a team um, that doesn't really give a fuck mm. just gives up mentally and goes, ah, oh, fuck this. They had like, such yeah. a solid first, I wouldn't say solid first half, but it was they right. ran in with the lead. They yeah. looked good. Scored Mate, a couple of tries. That's that right. Was that was fucked. just completely flipped on its fucking Yeah, it shouldn't. Head. That sort of like turn shouldn't really happen at that level. I don't no know. Against the fucking Dolphins side with no Flegler, no Farnworth, no Hammer. That's right. What they the made fuck? them look like a fucking premiership winning team. Mate. I, honestly, I feel sorry for Eels fans watching that because that it was. It's going to be an up and down season because oh. you'll go from games like you won against Cowboys. How do you tip with those will... cunts, eh? Yep. Just... Yeah, but 
then the Cowboys have rocked up and shown that that was a nothing win. Mm. Yeah, on the weekend, like they because fuck they were bad. We're going to get to them. It's going to be it's going to be an up and down <laughs> season for Para. They will win against the best teams and fucking get pumped mm. against the worst. Yeah. Mm. Maybe they're just a flat track bully again, like the Sharkies. Ooh, um, Penrith clinical yeah. did nothing wrong. Didn't do anything spectacular. Yeah, not much came out. Of Tigs that, tried all day too. Yeah. I think oh, they just did what they needed to to win. How good was the two PM out and whatever the fuck ground Bathurst. they were playing? It, it was, mm. looked good. Do eh? they do that because they're both day? Western oh. suburb teams? So they're like, oh fuck it, yeah, we'll probably put it in yeah. a neutral venue. They've for probably the got fans. Um, both fan, sets yeah. of fans out there. Yep. Fuck yeah! Now the Bronx, mate. First half electric. A bit so like a couple of teams had really, really good first halves. That Reese Walsh try where he steps before oh. he even gets it. How do you do that? Well, man? flashbacks to the grand final. Yeah, it was when he on fucking, Cleary. Cleary, anyone who shoots up on Walshy, you've got to time that fucking perfectly, man, because he bounces around. Can and he go the other way? Past you. Oh, I'd like to fucking see Because you've it. got to, if you do shoot up like that, you've almost got to predict the step. And if he goes the other way, then okay. You can't predict his fucking game. Yeah, but you know he's going to go in. Yeah, it's. He's going to go off the left because he's a left footer. He made, who but was fuck it? Fuck, man. You shot yeah, out. it was Timiko. He made him look silly. Right, mate. And then he's just pace off the mark. So quick. He's one of those blokes like him, Hammer, those kind of blokes glide across yeah. the field. It, it reminds so me good. of a – there was a try fucking – I remember talk. I can't pinpoint it, but Matty Bowen scored a try off a chip and chase one time, mm. and he's chipped it. It bounced once, and he steps like before he even gets the ball back. Oh. He regathers it because it's a perfect bounce, recent. but he like steps past the fullback before he even gets the mm. fucking footy, man. It's unreal. Yeah, Mate, while she killed it. He just was quickly, taking the Chevy to the panel beaters. <laughs> Mate, like I was saying, that was a but, good hit. but I want to just say that shout out to that young fella, man, for yeah. just not giving up at all. Yeah. He like can't muckled kept... it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that shot, I fucking, that just installed the love of rugby league back in me because you see that <laughs> fuck all now. Yep. Yeah. Since they fucked the shoulder charge off, you barely ever see well, that you gotta, sort of bang. You just oh, have yeah. to time it so well yeah. now because if you fuck it up, you're That's suspended. Right. And, he, mate, he just kept going, but you could tell Bronx were just putting it on him like Ezra. Just wanted blood. He just, yeah. Ezra was like the first one there just diving into shit. Ezra's like, kick chase this year, he has made it a part of his game to not go for the ball, but time it perfectly to jam the fucking yeah, like catching yeah, 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 it yeah. and forces knock-ons. Well, they've but, changed that rule where you can't fucking just jump up willy-nilly and can like yeah. contest it, but mm, not really. That's true. So he's probably going, right, I'm just going to fucking wait for them to catch yeah. it and belt them. Ariel yeah, Ray um, from Jock Madden. Like, you talk about Renault's Playing kicking good, game eh? in the rain. He mm. stood up. His kicking game is credit to why Chevy was knocking him on and looking so fucking shaky. But, yeah. and the best part I loved about that is Canberra come out and they were saying, oh, Fogarty's bombs, you know, we're going to put Oates and Walshy under pressure this game in the rain and just said, fuck you, we're doing it back. Yeah. Well, what happened to Big Fog? Because uh, he went torn off. Torn bicep. Gone. Yeah, poor car. Yeah. Wow. That is so good. Like, that is harsh Oof. for Raiders fans to swallow. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, though, like, good on him for fucking showing up. Like, he could have cowed and not really got involved or passed the ball instead of running it yeah. back. He yep. just gripped the teeth. But that was, like, you'd, that was a typical. If someone goes, yeah, welcome to first grade, son, go and watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Like, yeah. It was yeah. after his errors, so he's like, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> and then I reckon he got up and went, well, I won't do that again. <laughs> yeah, he ran straight at Ricky it. and Kobe, who's a fucking modern-day Gilmeister, just an <laughs> axe. Yeah. Gropes, you were a bee's dick off calling the upset, brother. I know, I just realised I missed that game. Mm. 64 points scored. <laughs> fucking, Try fest. Yeah, great for the neutral. The upset of the round almost come off, and I'm spewing because there had already been two the night before <laughs> with oh. the, the Finns mm. yep. and uh, the Dragons, Dragons, which I definitely did not tip. Oh. So to get that one wrong as well, I was like, fuck. Surely <laughs> not many would have tipped the Dragons, like tipped that one. You like wouldn't it. have thought so, no. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, great game for the neutral. Manly lucky to get away with it in the end. Mm. Yep. Titans, uh, yeah, they're improving. Tough going to be tough for him this week. Anzac it sucks Day. losing one of those, like when you haven't got one yet and you mm. get that close. Mm. It must just two, fucking two be deflating, in sitting in the shed going, fuck's sake, mm. like we went well again but not good enough. Yeah. Just the, can't string together a full 80 minutes of footy. Yeah. Um, yeah, we spoke about the Bronx and the, the Dogs Knights, we've covered a bit with that drama down the tunnel, but more the game now. 
It's going to be a real test for them mentally and their squad depth and literally changing the whole way they attack yeah. without Kalen, I reckon, because they're going to have to come up with a new fucking style of attacking. Well, that's right. Yeah, the whole team there. ran through him. So now yeah. it's like, what the fuck do you do? Start and from scratch. to go and lose to a team like the Bulldogs who are improving and all mm. that, but to lose – Fucking by 30 points. It's like, oh. You've also got. Uh, and lose Kalen for three months. Did I you? might be a casual, but who the fuck is David Armstrong? Big strong arm. Big leg lick. He <laughs> is replacing Ponga and fullback. Yeah. Uh, I don't watch any junior grade like footy, so he might be young coming through in New South Wales Cup, but fucks me who he is, man. Yeah, don't know. Can't tell you there, but. Uh, well, I don't. No, no deadly fullback sniffing around Newcastle ready to get their start with Kalen there. No. Nah. You know what I mean? You wouldn't expect to see a big name step in when Kalen goes down. That's yeah. right. Um, did you did yeah. you notice that um, Bronson Sherry has just shaved the beak down? Yeah, and he's he resembling is four Voldemort, years off. and just it looks <laughs> he's bad. What, he's what? <laughs> so he used to have like, and mate, I've got a fucking ripper snout on me. Yeah, like but you're not going to get a fucking nose job. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like it's part of me. Like I've got a big snoz. Cop it. That's what you've been given, <laughs> and. Old Sherry, like he used to have a proper, like you know, decent oh, beak on him, a big curvature. Yeah. I'm looking at it, here. mate. They have <laughs> shaved her. It's too much, shaved. mate. He's Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you go to the barber have and say, "Can it? I get a bit taken off?" And they yeah. take off too much, and, and you're like, like, "Fuck!" That cut's not growing hard. back though. Is Maybe it? it scarred him like that much <laughs> that he went really over the top. Because I'm like, mate, if you want to change it, but he's proper like got rid of a lot of. It looks the like a fucking cartoon. That is a lot of with a fry pan. Plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah it does not look good. Oh, there's just there's no real side by side ones. Because you know, I remember him. I remember watching him. Does this count? You know, for the sharks, and I'm like, he always had a beak on him, and then yeah, bro. And I remember seeing him this year, and I'm like, holy fuck, it doesn't even look like the same. Oh, I haven't seen him in four years. It was straight away. The first thing I noticed was, well, where's that cunt's beak gone? Yeah, but you know, fair enough though. If you want to change that, but I'm like, wow, bro, you've like you've really taken the nose. He's been beaked. um, Like, (laughs) yeah, he's been beaked. Bit of fucking work getting done. Lodgy's got hair again. Who? Did you see Lodgy. that? Does he? Yes. Actually, it seems to be a more common thing. The boys getting in, getting the hair done. Well, up. he's come out and said he's like, chicks can get lip filler and whatnot, so why can't blokes get their hair back? Yeah, well, Lockyer did it. That's yeah. right. Ricky, yeah. Ponning, yeah. Ricky Ponning is the fucking, the pioneer for is that. He? 2002, 2003, when he was just making runs for fun, always had the helmet off, mm. putting yep. it up for yep. making 100. He had, like, the big piece of Devon on the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it was yep. gone. And now he's just got the most perfect head of hair. Mate, <laughs> I, I, if people have got the coin and they want to get their hair back, I reckon Do sweet. Fuck because yeah. you used to have that. I think changing your snout... To yeah, look completely different. I'm like, that'd be... The like, chicks do it all the time, mate. Yeah, I know, but I am I mean, like, it'd be weird. Where's if the if Aussie I rocked bloke up gone? with you, yeah. I rocked up with you, <laughs> hey, grapes, here you going, man, and you got half Is that the how you'd size, say it? And you got half... <laughs> Well, if I did, if you know, your nose yeah. job, you'd say it like that, yeah. Hey, Grapes. <laughs> oh, no, but, oh like, here we fucking go. <laughs> no, but if you, if I rocked up We're gonna get and done you here. had half of your snout <laughs> and just acted normal, I'd go, where's your snout? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck's going on with your face, cunt? You know oh, what I mean? I know, but we're simple fucking central I know, we're bogan, cunt. <laughs> yeah. We need to get You got a big it. snout, you go, fuck it, and if you're bored and you shave and, it. But here's yeah. the other thing too, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Have a problem with anyone doing whatever to themselves. I just think, wow, you've really like you could have just taken the curve out a bit, but he has proper just chopped her off. Yeah, it was botched a bit. <laughs> they fucking botched it. Uh, anyway, Barley, there's Barley Bronny's Johnson nose. Yeah. <laughs> Surely, yeah. Yeah. there's big Bronny's nose. Bronny's <laughs> nose. Like I said, I've, I'm a big nose guy. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we would get ripped to shreds by some fucking pretentious bloke from bloody Melbourne. the eastern suburbs, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, probably do it. We do it all the time. TikTok hates us. Every oh, video yeah. <laughs> that is on TikTok, we just get pounded. Mate, if you got the money and you want to make yourself look better and it makes you happy, just do it. Then that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. go for it. <laughs> Riff in sunshine. Uh, right, our last game of the round, boys. The Cowboys were. 
If the Eels didn't let in eight tries in 25 minutes, the Cowboys would have easily been the worst team of the round. And they could still. I'd say they are. The 80 minute performance was worse, I reckon, than yep. the Eels' 80. At least Eels played 40 minutes of, of good, good footy. footy. That mm. was, honestly, it was fucked. It was at one point in the second half, Jordan McLean dropped the footy off like. Literally, it hit him on the chest as he was having a hit up. Mm. Just dropped it straight in front of him. And I went, wow, that is the last straw, surely. Yep. And then Nico Hines, they, Mulatalo scored the fucking easiest try I fucking think I've seen scored yeah. in the NRL. Yes, yeah, Where the in. winger just sort of rushed up. Nico just went in behind him and threw it to Molotalo. Mm. It was so easy. And that was after the drop ball. I just went, oh, my God. And they <laughs> haven't really made any changes this week either. And they're versing Penrith. Oh, yeah. yeah. Up that? there, though, that'll help them yeah. up there. Yeah. Hazelton, mate. I know. I so, ripped him. <laughs> mate, he scores a few tries. Like, he's that one that every now and again, if you just want a cart filler and you're not super confident on it. But, cart filler. <laughs> mate, he just fucking, he loves scoring meaties. The big yeah. boy just rolls over. Yeah. Good on him. How's the footwork on the cunt? Oh, yeah. He thought he was a fucking halfback. Oh, he's Mate, fucking fullback. stepped about was, three yeah, or four. Just Mate, well, inside, slow, the t- inside the 10, I think he just gets a bit of yeah, like yeah, that front yeah, row of tries. It's hard shit. not to. Oh, yeah. I'm guilty yeah, of it. So you're right. They haven't made fucking any changes at all, which is good that the coach is sticking with, you know. Is it? Well, it's going to come to a point where he goes, right, oh, boys, he's a shit. Yeah. But clear he's back this week. Oh, um, oh. Full strength Penrith side, like proper full strength. Fisher Harris is playing. Yep. Sorensen's back. Yeah, she's going to be a tough, tough night. But it's in North Queensland, and you just fucking it's don't just know. It's just humid. Well, look, buddy, Eels went up, played the Dolphins, and just got hammered. Yeah, after. It's, it's not the Eels, so I get that. Mm. But you're still up north, home game. Crowd will turn out, they so do. you never know. No matter what, they'll fucking show up. I'm teams. tipping either Penrith hammer them or like Cowboys will win in a really high scorer because Cowboys can't fucking defend. They have – what's their – I want to check their point differential they'll have actually because they're for and against. Like They'll, they'll have to win 32-30 or something. So, so I've got wow. – with that, with that Penrith game, so last week Dane Laurie off the bench got seven minutes, mm. I think, just to give him a run. He's Why playing is again. he there again? I, I just and I've got no problem with Dane Laurie. I think he's a good, good player. player. Yeah, but I go unless he's there for a thing. I just don't understand people having them is, there in case of an injury. Put him in New South Wales Cup and let him play eighty. But isn't that isn't that what they're doing with the PlayStation? Or is Sonny he injured? Luke? Yeah, I th- oh, he's not there. I don't know where. I he know, is. but isn't that what they're doing with him getting him to play eighty? Oh. Or is he injured? Oh. Not you know, know what I mean? Idea. I can't, I don't Cause know. Cause I used to like having him off the, off the bench yeah, off yeah. Sony cause he'd come on and ha- have that, um, shit out of the, uh, mm. hooker. Yeah. But I just don't see what Dane Laurie is really. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I have a yeah. fullback just sitting on the bench who can only yeah. really play fullback or wing. Oh, he can play. He can come out of five eight hooker, and stuff and hooker. But so I that's mean, what he's there for. Yeah. But I mean, you don't want him in the middle of the field tackling. Yeah, true. He's Way too small. Well, when yeah. you got Big Moses and but anyway, Ivan, JFH next Ivan, to Ivan, <laughs> I think, is a better coach than me. So oh. I'm sure. <laughs> so yeah, I'm maybe sure, back to back to back. I'm sure there's a method we'll to it. what he's doing, but I just can't personally see it. Yeah, Just oh well. on Cowboys and their point differential, uh, negative eight with four wins and three losses. Yeah. Mm. That's, That's shocking. shocking. 191 points they've conceded. Are they on top for that? Just hit that thing. It should uh, like in terms of points, you should put it in order if you hit the like who's conceded no the most. Uh, they've conceded the second most. Bunnies are the most. Oh like, yeah, Cowboys have conceded more than last place Titans. Yep, mm. fucking that's unreal. Eh? Wow. Yeah, right. Oh, well, let's move into the other code of footy, boys. Before we yep. get, do the tips and that, um, Saints dogs. That was a fucking demolition last oh, no. Thursday. What the fuck? Saints. I don't think any. I, I tip Saint Kilda. Same. I thought we they were going to get up just close it's, game, but. Doggies, Dogs they're just going to do them. that all year, aren't they? They're going to go up and down. Probably. Yeah. Bont was fucking unreal. It was just one, one way traffic from the first quarter to the last. And kicked a bag as well. Yeah. So, uh, well, <laughs> that is quite uh, sad. Well, it fucking should I'm be. I'm yeah, fucking deflated. Yeah. I even wa- I watched that cunt and I was like, here we go. I know it's not the punch show, but all the other legs were there. Just oh. need the Crows to win. Should have been a penalty right in front of the fucking Free sticks. Kick. Free kick. Free kick, sorry. He's learning. <laughs> in front of the sticks. 
Fuck off. Any other cunts. time in the game, that's a free kick. Well, that's what we were talking about in the NRL before. You've got to have consistency <laughs> yeah. no matter what the fuck comes after it. That is a free kick. I thought that. If it's in the other 50. I thought that. And then I'm like, fucking good luck to you if you're the ump blowing that after the siren's gone. If you're blowing a free kick after the siren's gone. Yeah. Maybe if there was two more seconds and he has to make a decision. But the siren saved him. Well, bro, there's – yeah. There's, he was like, I don't have him, to do anything. There's more you controversy. You joking about it after. Oh. Like, he, he's even going there all laughing. In the middle that, of the ground. Yeah, yeah, like pretending to sprawl on That's it. That's how you it's get just, hit. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, fuck off, cunt. There's just as much yeah. controversy if you did call that, if you don't, though, I reckon. Yeah, I Coming know. Coming from Essendon fans, they would have blown the fuck up. But Draper oh. jumped down and looked up. I oh, know. and It was like the said, most blatant flop I've two, seen in a while. Two more seconds – yeah, and the ump would have had to make a decision, but the siren went and it saved him. He didn't have to him. make a call. Because it was still Fuck, like, cop out though. you've got a chance to get rid of it, but you have dived on it. Siren went. Yeah. Oh, it was I a pure they belly did, flop. They did kick two behinds, though, when they oh, could have kicked a goal. But, but, had but, chances, but yeah. still, that, that did happen, and fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fuck them. I agree, uh, fuck them. Fuck them. Uh, uh, massive. Fucking shattered. Uh, spoiler alert, massive game coming up this week. Oh, I'm not singing yeah. shit. I cannot believe <laughs> how this has tips. turned out. But wait for the tips. <laughs> Fucking surely um, not. Port Adelaide on fire early. Kingy was up and about, but Collingwood just roared. Roared in the second third. Yeah. Just ended up beating them I think quite convincingly. Uh, they found their groove, you reckon? Yeah, Getting I back think into they, it. they have. I'm not gonna, they're not going to go back to back. This is, the, but this is the test this week. Big day, Anzac day. That's right, yeah. Less than in form. Yep. Um, but yeah, look, Port were on fire early, like I said. But yeah, Collingwood just ground them down, ground them down, and then ran did away what with they it do in best, the end, yep. which was yeah, that's what they do. I'd like to say good to see, but I no, I don't like seeing Collingwood Mate, succeed. Carlton fans, Saturday afternoon, take your hat oh, off, and wow. give yourself a pat on the back because that was fucking unreal. Oh, I haven't heard a crowd like that in all season. Already. Yeah, fuck. When they got on that roll in the third, end of the third quarter, oh, Kerno kicked three in five minutes. It was unreal. All the moment you could just the boys would definitely hear it, and I reckon it helped them. Swing towards oh, yeah. that game because fuck me the way they were just so aggressive in every contest straight like head over the ball they had kicks spot on inside the fifty they looked so fucking sharp and I thought the roof was gonna rip off Marvel man honestly that's the sort of games where or the sort of fucking sorry patches ten minute patch where you go no one's gonna beat them that's right <laughs> for the rest mm. of the year yep. <laughs> but you can't keep that and GWS level, were winning like going into that. 10-minute patch there, and Carlton just flipped the whole game on its head. Yeah. That 10 minutes won them the fucking game. Definitely. They reckon um, – got a mate, he's a Lions supporter, mm-hmm. and that first quarter of the very first game where the Lions played Carlton at the Gabba, yep. kicked fucking the first five goals in the first quarter. He reckons he was just sitting there going – how the fuck's anyone going to beat us <laughs> this year? Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, like, that was that the changed? most perfect first quarter you could ever imagine. And then, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right out the window. Oh, but yeah, it's funny. It's funny because, like, you do it all the time. I did it in the second quarter against on the weekend. We kicked nine goals or something. Yeah. In the second quarter. And I'm like, we're going to play finals. <laughs> the, the, the momentum <laughs> swing in AFL is so much more. Like deluding <laughs> yeah. than any other sport, I reckon. You just kick a few in a row and you're just like, holy fuck, we're yeah. the best team ever. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what wasn't fucking a very good watch. The wet, sloppy shit oh, came if at you're the Gabba. A fan, yeah. Brizzy and the Cats. The Cats got it done again, though. Beat the Lions at the Gabba. The Fortress is fucked. It's There's not no a fortress. fortress. Fuck. Nah. It's gone. It's burnt. Maybe it was the whole Olympic saga with uh, they're not knocking it down anymore. Yeah. Put a curse on it. Maybe, because they didn't lose a game all year last year. No. Not one. And they haven't they yeah, barely they won look, one. Yeah. It's just the rooting, man. It is the root. That the well, rooting just, scandal. Yeah. You can't just ignore that. No, nah, well, the alleged Beat rooting demons scandal. in yeah. Melbourne though. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know. They didn't kick they kicked one goal in the last two quarters. I reckon That's shocking. Rec- yeah. I reckon they're gonna be a, like the, I don't think they'll play finals. Really? But because they're so they're still so talented. They will do that and beat teams like Melbourne. But the yeah. consistency will That's go the other point. way where yeah. they'll lose majority, but they'll beat that really good team because they are still fucking mm-hmm. good. Yeah. You know? Man, anyway. Like, 
suck my own team off a bit here, but yes, yeah, mines were average, but we were still just fucking solid. We played yeah. the wet weather footy so well. Jeremy Cameron and Tom Hawkins, our two big forwards, didn't kick a goal. Blokes well, like smaller blokes, fucking Ollie Henry, uh, Tyson Stengel, they stood up, man. Did anyone take a mark? <laughs> Fuck, it was hard to watch at one point. It was just hissing oh, down. Because did, it didn't seem like that bad at Suncorp. No, like it, didn't. it was wet. But, but it's so different to like that showed the contrast in rugby league with the synthetic ball. Yeah. And then you compare it to the, the leather. fucking the leather at, at uh, Gabba. And it was just, yeah, tough watch. Different game, yeah. But six and no start for the Cats. I, can't Bullshit, isn't it? I thought that was our big test. I was like, right, eh? Well, we're definitely not pretenders, but we've got a big, big test this week. Huge against test. Carlton. Yeah, fucking oath. Um, yeah, hurts me to say that the cats are going well, but they are. Hurts me. <laughs> Good on them. Now, the big Western Derby got pit, got clipped for that because we were calling it the Western Derby. Sorry. It's fucking tomato, tomato. It, it tomato, is a derby, though. It? They call it the Derby, so it's the Derby, but <sighs> it's. Yeah, Wah. Anyway. <laughs> Man. So, Flag Mantle might be pretenders, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, no are. Oh, yeah. And West Coast could play. For, no, they couldn't. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 Get out. We're up. Uh, good to see, though. I took yeah. I took the line, man, because the line was 38 and a half points, $1.90. And I'm that's like, unreal. fucking take my money. Because yeah. that's just like, I'm, I'm going, it's not that uneven. No. They won last week. Mm. Still tip Frio, but I'm like 38 and a I half. I got that tip. I only got two others. Did you tip West Coast? You yeah. did fucking two. Wow. Chant. Harley uh, Reid looked good. Did now, he? he did, but just fucking calm down. Everyone is like, just screaming in their jocks, oh, as they would. But yeah, like, you would because you've had a few him tough. Up. Pump you've him up. A, he's the best. You've had a few tough seasons, so obviously, you, gotta, yeah. you know, when something's going right. And I'll yeah, him for like, a couple more till he fucks right off. Yeah, comes back to Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, he will. I'm homesick. He'll continue <laughs> to play good footy, back. and there is no fucking way he stays there in the next five years. Eh? <laughs> nah, fuck no. Fuck no. He'll see this first contract out and then be like, oh, yep. mummy. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even uh, not just his performance, Tim Kelly, Elliot Yo, they all looked good. As well. See, when you say all these names, you go, why do they suck? Yeah, exactly. Tim <laughs> Kelly was in like best and fairest form at Geelong yeah. before he went. Elliot, you know, they're still premiership players from 2018. That's a crook trade, eh? Yep. The Tim Kelly one. Oh. Oh, we got fucking nothing from that. No, but f- crook for him. Maybe not money wise. Didn't he? Was, isn't he from. He's gone to fucking WA? West Coast. Is that just, why he wanted to go? Because he wanted to go home? I think he's from WA, yeah, yeah. but fucking hell. Went from. That was massive. Contenders. I remember that yeah. story. It was such a huge story well, that he's he was, been traded and then it's just gone to shit. He struggled to find form for years in the AFL and then just came good at Geelong and then just went, right oh, now I'm good. Hooroo. Yeah. Uh, the Swans did what they should, I think, against the Suns yeah, at the SCG. Them. Yep. No need to go into that. Didn't even I, watch it. Did I didn't not watch even watch it. it. I saw the score and I went, Sorry to the Bloods expect. fans, but... Uh, yeah, but he doesn't and play the anymore, three so no series. reason to fucking watch her. <laughs> uh, and then the Mighty Hawks, boys. I watched this one. <laughs> the no song. The second quarter, like I said, nine goals. We let them kick three at the end, but fuck, it was awesome. Just you were just pumped. Nine goals in a quarter of footy. That doesn't happen for that long. No. And I was just sitting there, and I just kept going, keep going, you cunts. Make hay while the sun is shining. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get as far ahead as we could because I thought that, you know, They'd drop off, mm. North had come back, and I didn't want to fucking sing. <laughs> that is no a great song. point. First quarter, like the first five minutes, I thought, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. please See, someone, be singing. Someone <laughs> posted the song in the RRLC. So, Do they? Yeah, to the North one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just mm. so, I, so we knew it. And, uh, yeah, coming up, the Crows may play North this week. That has worked out so what the fuck, eh? well. I can't believe it. Off the cuff, I've just gone to you. And it, it was and all I've because. i torch to you. It if was I'm all because. sitting there singing that turd of a song, <laughs> can't all be You know it. why it was? Why? Because of the ESPN 100% to the Geelong. Oh, yeah. Everyone tipped them, so we're like, Jace. Domino effect. <laughs> if you fucking lose, you've got to sing the song. <laughs> yeah. Next thing, Hawthorne playing the very next uh, week. Now the crowd. Into I the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the toughest one to get past was you being a Hawthorne fan, but I think you are probably pretty safe, Tom. Mate, down in Hobart. Oh, it's she's a, cold. It's a long, long trip. trip south. <laughs> everyone's got two. Everyone's got two heads. It's fucking. Uh, oh. 
Anyway, we'll get and oh. get to that now, in the tips. Sam um, Mitchell is against Alex Clarkson. That will yeah. be the, that will be AIDS sitting here holding a bit of paper, singing to the song. I might have oh. a surprise for you next week, though. Ooh. So at least you'll be out. Because mm. my plan, this spoiler alert for what we've got him, but my plan was to if I had to sing it, I was wearing full Hawks merch. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. The, the fucking hat. So yeah. if there was any proof Anything. of the clip. That you could still say, I'm a Hawthorne Yeah, fan. fucking yeah. That's actually smart. That's very smart. <laughs> so there might be something yeah, coming right, right. Uh, for when North knock you off on, <laughs> in Hobart on Saturday. Just yeah. make it even better that the non-real AFL fan would be singing there, singing it. <laughs> Learns the first song. Yeah. Oh. Learns Wouldn't it before <laughs> the Crows song. <laughs> That'd be fucked. Uh, righto, let's get into fucking Garcia, Haney. Oh. Um, <laughs> Haney did not look himself. Tom, you brought up a good point. It was because he got fucking left, massive left hook in the first mm. and just threw him off. I'm going to back you in on that one because didn't look himself because against fucking Cambosis, it looked like George was never going to hit him once. Yeah, man. And it it was... just looked a different bloke. And, it, yeah, it had to be because of that. Oh, first well, man, straight up. like who knows? It might have been the mind games leading up. He might have, he might have like the rest of the world, Saw the lead up and went, this bloke's fucking crazy. I'm going to smoke him and yeah. maybe underestimated it a bit. He was even talking in a couple of interviews leading up where they had like a face-off thing. All you got's the left hook. Uh, yep. And it was and a fucking, was fucking good trick. <laughs> yeah. um, but that was one of those fights where I put it on, watched it live, and I'm fucking glad that I did. Same as that UFC 300 Holloway fight. Like it's just one of those ones where it shocks you. You go, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I had... Because I thought it was that crazy, I chucked a bet on fucking Garcia to win, and this will transition into fuck you, ref. What the hell was that? He, yeah. I reckon he had a bet on fucking Haney. Yeah, he had to. You look at, like, um, the world title fight with Liam Wilson, right? The ref, like, and fair enough, if that's what he's, um, he's seeing, Liam wasn't offering that much, but he was on his feet with his guard up still, and as he sort of... Um, as he stopped it, he threw a he threw a punch. Yeah, like you could justify it, but then you look at Haney, who's getting snug around, not letting go. Yeah. Like fucking what? Ended up on his knees twice because he was like ha- yeah. holding on that hard, yeah. and Garcia's trying to get away, and he just ha- kept holding on. Haney like, looked like he was just surviving. And mate, like Man. Garcia hitting the clinch, so it's fair enough. Get a point taken off, but if he got a point taken off for that, Haney should have had one stripped off him for the amount he was just grabbing mate, and holding. Yeah. The ref was fucking literally trying to peel him off, go yeah. and break, and he just. Held on. I think it was just cheating. It, cunt. You can't say that it has nothing to do with the fact that he was undefeated. Had a, he was the world champ and yeah. all that shit. The ref probably didn't want to be like, "Oh fuck, I don't want to give him his first." Oh, loss. call oh, it, call yeah. it. No, yeah. but he could have deducted a point. Yeah, yeah. But I just think that that it should have been stopped, man. They reckon it's... he's one of the best refs, though. They kept saying it on the thing. So and and it is up to their discretion. Like, yeah. oh mate, so yeah. that's fair enough. But I just think, man, that one round, I was going, how the fuck has this not been stopped? He yeah, is literally yeah. not even able to stand properly. Yeah. Getting yep. dragged. Um, Garcia's um, frame looked so much bigger. Mm, and did, didn't it? why is no one really saying anything about the fact that he purposely weighed in over? Mm. And Haney still said, fuck yeah, I'll still fight you. Like he could have could he have said, no, nah, we're not yeah, fighting. Hundred percent. Yeah, could've. yeah, he could have went, oh fights off. Yeah. But I think he just, yeah. He would. Because it wasn't half yeah. a pound. It was three. It was three. And I don't know. Everyone's just sort of forgotten about that. Yeah. So oh, Haney sp- keeps his belts, I guess, but still. Yeah, but no a one's loss even like going. that is going to fucking shake Haney up. Fuck right? yeah. It's pretty, um, it's pretty unprofessional of him. Like, if you're at that level, like, you should be proper dialed in. And if you can't, like he said, after the fight, he just, he's not fighting at that weight anymore. No, he, he can't, can't make there. it. Yeah. Was there any rehydration thing in this one? I don't, well, I don't think so. He didn't even make the weight. Yeah, I know, but there wasn't there wasn't the tank one. We yeah, know, yeah. So he fought tank. Yeah, so that's what he was saying with that tank Davis one. He made he got down, but then had a clause where he couldn't rehydrate yeah. himself. So he was he reckons he was weak and couldn't do you know couldn't yeah. perform at whatever level. But regardless, man, like I know and. The boxing p- people and purists will be like, fuck off, it's a big thing, but three pounds, is that like a kilo? I think a it's kilo and a half or something. Yeah. Under, under wow. A kilo <laughs> a Fucking hell, that's a good shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> quite literally a shit in Well, a that's piss. what I was thinking. Like, he's <laughs> yeah. purposely fucking waiting It's literally over. a Hawthorne. He could have he <laughs> fucking... One. 
You reckon he could have done it though? Like, oh, fuck me. Yeah, dead I'd, man. I'd, I'd say so, man. But I, I just go. Um, I don't think. I think he was just keen to get out there and just get a win against him. Um, oh, he just the way he came into that. It's one point three kilos. Mm. Yeah, that's fuck. Sit in the sauna for another thirty. Sure. Well, the cunt got up there and when he weighed in, sculled up beer, which he came out and said was fucking. Yeah, but that's for the ceremonial weigh-ins. Yeah. Yeah. So even the genuine weigh-in, he was still. Yeah. Mm. The one that they would have done. He was just off his fucking rocker. But but see, people going like it was a good media stunt, and he did carry on heaps, but. Everyone carrying on like that now he's normal. Nah, but well, he's trying to say is like, you thought I was crazy. It's like yeah, I, I still, still do. reckon you're tripping. You bro. can just fucking you, fight. Yeah, you can fight like like fuck. Yeah, because like um afterwards he's yeah. He's, is he going to be like this for the rest of his career now? Has he made it his kind of thing to be, be a he fucking... played, like the face of boxing, being that psycho? Because it'll just it'll draw. It's obviously entertainment, fucking... and it's gonna the fact that he won off the back of that too. Will just make people want to watch him even more. Mate, it was impressive seeing someone like because I before that fight I saw Devin Haney being exactly pitcher like Floyd Mayweather, go yeah. through barely get touched, let alone knocked down, let alone get Me fucking too. flogged, mm-hmm. and not <laughs> being that ex, that many exciting fights and. And then to watch that in front of me, I was just going, wow. Well, it's like he is getting fucking touched up. Yep. Good on him because he's fought the best. Yeah. And he has. At like, you know, yeah. within reason. Yeah, Lomachenko, uh, yeah. Dambosis. Yeah, he's kept fighting those guys. But it does just show how fucking unreal Mayweather was, eh? Because oh. everyone's going... This cunt's the next Mayweather, blah blah blah. But mate, no one can he's really got to be Floyd, eh? once in once in a generation. That See cunt. that that fight just proves why sport is so cool. Yeah, like, I Fuck fucking yeah. love sport for those reasons. The Holloway um, Gaethje thing, the the upset like the Garcia thing when mm. no one thought it was possible. And it's like holy fuck. Yeah, like that's why sport the is the dragons so cool. beating the yeah. world. Well, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but it's that sort of shit. We love you underdogs. Well. Yeah. It's fucking cool. That's it's the Aussie awesome. way, man. To back the underdog. It mm. is. Always has been. We've got an underdog in the middle of the table right here. <laughs> yeah, fucking Well, fucking I was the underdog when it started, 475. Yeah, now I'm a dollar fifty. <laughs> they love us. They this love us. This gun's a dollar twenty two. I'm nowhere near Still a fucking backed. underdog. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's a dollar twenty one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he started in the card. Do you know how big that move is? Like you think four seventy into a dollar fifty is massive move, obviously. But, but when you're people, talking a dollar forty into a dollar twenty, people have got on that. That is that huge. Is low, yeah, dude. that is massive. Yeah. I've had a four cent movement. I think I went from twenty six to twenty two. A few multis. So yeah, someone's <laughs> chucked in a few multis with me in there. Mm. <laughs> Fucking eyes. What would the Reggie's multi be paying? Did we, we did this we last, that last yeah, year. Yeah, five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, I I just think it was cool to see um, that happen. I don't know what happens with Garcia now. I'd say he'll move up, obviously move up a weight class. I think Oscar was saying that they'd be keen on a tank fight, but it'd be at a catch weight. Have to be catch, yeah. Mm. Mm. Or but, just do the fucking. Oh no, he said he wouldn't do one forty again. He's gonna say do the rehydration, no rehydration clause thing. Yeah. But anyway, I, anyway um, yeah, it was it was a spectacle. Anyway. One forty seven is that. Uh, whose weight's that? I would be dead set I th- guessing. I think Crawford is like 154 or something. So right. yeah, he I don't would, know, man. he'd be too heavy unless Garcia just fucking started doing deadlifts or something. He <laughs> mentioned a bloke called Boots or something. Oh, oh yeah. He, he said that, that must be he, So whoever that is, sorry, fucking turbos. Um, <laughs> yeah, whoever <laughs> that is, I think that's the, the bloke that he was saying. Oh, Boots. Yeah, oh, Boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boots. Boots. I saw the name yeah. the other day. Boots. Yeah. Uh, Jerron Ennis. Okay. Yep. Yeah, boots. Boots. Yeah. Bootsy. Boots. Boots. Uh, anyway, great to see. Um, great to see an upset. Yeah, it's cool. Fucking always awesome. good to see. Yeah. What about tomorrow? Uh, tonight. Sorry, yeah. as you're listening. Tonight. So we got Nikita Zoo's Australian title fight. Um, look, I'm I'm keen to see Benny Hussain. Obviously, Same, we've man. had a chat with him. He came up and did some rounds with us um, when he was prepping for this. We prepped um, him. Yeah, yeah, pretty much <laughs> got him there. <laughs> Just joking. But um. Man, it's impressive. He, he made weight, so he's ready to go. I think his Australasian title's on the line. Yep. Um, look, I think he puts on a show. There's a, 
Georgie Rose has offered him a twenty grand bonus. Yeah, to, what's going on there, Georgie? To, to whoever's the fucking uh, where's the sixty G's, baby? Yeah. <laughs> so he's just trying to get him to just fucking well, throw. Yeah. Well, so, Dana must have set the precedence now. Yeah, Can to see that? I true. think there's a few titles. Like I don't know what exactly the titles are. Obviously, Nikita's the Aussie title. Um, Nikita's fighting. Is it Creedy? 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 He's a not Italian sure. fellow. I'm not sure oh, exactly who, how to pronounce his yeah, name. Yeah, nah, not sure. Um, so, yeah, I, look, I don't know how they – I think they cherry-picked that for Nikita, to be honest, because I watched his fight last time. It was a draw, and I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, like I said, I'm keen to cheer on Benny, see if he can get the Fucking win. No, and, and obviously just watch all the other fighters. Like any just all Aussie card I've been enjoying getting around lately. Yeah. 60 bucks, is it too much? I reckon it is. But um, anyway, I'll be buying it and watching it and fucking wish him all the best. Fucking all nice. the very. Mm. Fucking Come nice. on, Benny. And uh, I will be in Lynn Sandstrom's corner for whoever she's fighting. Uh, Lenny. Les Karat. Yeah, right. Yeah. What's Bit of that? a looker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Swedish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Swedish Aussie, it says. So yep. right in, right I think up there's my a couple. Alley. I think there's a couple of Kiwi <laughs> lads. There's a few internationals on the card. Up well, in. I think there's one fight there for one of the titles, both undefeated, which is always cool. Yep. Someone's O will go. Oh, yeah, that's that's yeah. like our card too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. all of us undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> Professionally. Someone's yeah. O will go in every yeah. fight. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, my O goes in the O and six. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> hey, uh, Tommy. Mm. F1s. Yes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Prix wrapped up on Sunday. Guess what, boys? What's that? What? Max Verstappen won. Wow. <laughs> Sergio Perez came second. Wow, I'd be yeah. fucked. Max won the Can sprint race. He qualified fastest for the main race and he won the race. So first time he's won that one though. So woohoo. Good on him. <laughs> um, <laughs> they actually changed a part of the track from last year's one. Hey, it big. fucked a few of them up, eh? Stumped so them almost like they didn't know about it. La- well, this is I'm trying to get to a thing That's where they're just that fucking cunt. dialed in though. Like yeah. you know, they've done this so many times that they're just so dialed. You know what I mean? So it was the final turn. Last year, where the you know, like the stripe bit, the the fucking gutter or whatever, like it is. the red and white, yeah, yep. So last year, because w- when all four wheels go on the other side of that, you get penalised. Oh yeah, but two oh, of them yeah. can. Yeah. So last year, two wheels had gone, and it was bitumen on the other side. This year, they changed it to gravel. Ooh. So they were coming into that final turn, slinging out of it, and if two wheel, both the oh. outside wheels ended up on the gravel, they just did a big oh. spin, man. Yeah. And it caught fucking, fucking a few of them out, eh? Because they obviously must have been used to it. Yeah. They would have known about it, but just Instincts like... Instincts take over when you're driving that fucking I fast. reckon, man, because you you'd you have that fucking speed that you've no, always gone into that yeah. corner at, and next thing you can't. And oh yeah, there just was a few, a few spin outs out. and shit. It was fucking made it for a bit exciting anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> safe but exciting. Crash the highlights <laughs> just winning. <laughs> yeah, I see very little, but what I do get it from is on Instagram, like ESPN or some shit. I saw Lewis Hamilton had a bit of a dummy spit. They caught on a record him saying that this car's just like too fucking slow. Bro, he I qualified eighteenth, and yeah. that never happens. The That's car wild. is too slow. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he might be right. He's going. Where's he going next year? Is it Ferrari? Yep. Yeah, right. Massive move. That. Could not believe that. Wonder who they're going to drop, like Carlos Sainz. It has to be Sainz because they've put all their fucking money into that So who chart. is Carlos Sainz and? Charles Leclerc. Oh. Yeah, so they'll definitely Leclerc. go for old mate. Um, I'll tell you what was fucking good to watch, and it was, God, I hope I get this right on who was actually battling. It was Lance Stroll and... <laughs> Fuck man, I forgot who the other cunt was. But they were literally there was a few did not finishes. And these two were fighting for the last place on the fucking on the like leaderboard. Oh. And they went a whole lap, man, proper wheel to wheel. <laughs> and it was like one to be in front and then the next cunt get the oh, inside lane. Battle of the shit. It was proper just awesome to watch. That's it good. was like 
the whole lap. Because normally if there's a pass on, they'll get them after one or two mm. corners and then just streak away. Just but they just kept coming back at each other and then he'd have the inside line, then he'd have the oh, inside. that's awesome. And it was just, just awesome. racing for the jersey. For last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Max is 20 seconds in front. No one gives uh, a fuck about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway, that was all Good just off the highlights Don't fucking too. give up. Fucking nice. Red Bull and Verstappen might win the Constructors' Championship and the drivers with fucking five races to go, dead set. Jesus. Oh, it's just disgusting. How can they just <laughs> – obviously it's just money that goes into a better car and a better engine. Surely there's a way they can fucking even out the playing field a bit mm. more. Yeah. Not my field. Not my uh, Give them all the expertise. same fucking car and then – That'll show. I reckon that's half what That's they coming do. from a stupid <laughs> motorsports fan who has no idea what he's talking Can't about. That's what makes the most sense to me. Make it even. That, that to see who the best driver is, they should all be in the same car. Same car. Everyone will be then... on, shut up, God. <laughs> yeah. Fucking whatever. It just makes no sense to me. I'm like, if they've got a better car, how is it the driver that's the best? Yeah. He is the best. Yeah. But I see what, you, <clears throat> I see what you're saying. Uh, righto, boys. We'll move on, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Three fucking games on Anzac Day. Oh, three ga- of that. league and two games of AFL. What time do they kick off? 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 7.30. Oh, so we'll just be able to park up somewhere, record yeah. the punch show. Get on and the just piss. Watch. <laughs> just get blind. Get up. <laughs> Would be nice. Be on the fucking Goldie, mate. Well, you got her. Not taking it. We're heading to Cabal Ave. Fucking oath. <laughs> Bit of two up. Elsewhere. <laughs> Go to elsewhere, fucking surfers. <laughs> Fuck, it's a good uh, nightclub. Ah, uh, spent some fucking mornings there. We'll see you there. <laughs> 3 a.m. Saturday. Well, no, so, yeah, 2 p.m. We're going to do the tips, by the way. Oh, yeah. 2 p.m., Warriors v. Titans in, 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 Z. In Z. <laughs> Big Z. kick up the arse, I reckon, for the Wars and a tough trip away for the Titans. Long. Yeah. We said long. <laughs> long. Yeah, it's got to be the Waz, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, does it? I don't know. It's got to be. I'm oh, going yeah. the Waz. I'm tipping them, but whatever. Yeah. Don't know. This next one is not fucking easy this to tip after last week. This is fucking going to be a great game of footy. Mm. Great I'm game of footy. Dragons. I'm, I'm going it. the V. Yeah, me got, too. I'm going I've them. got here Dragons question mark, Roosters question mark. <laughs> well, that sums it up. <laughs> I think I'm just going to base it on anything happens on Anzac Day. You know, I it's think, almost I like think, got a finals footy vibe to it in both codes. Huge crowd. Yeah, I just think who do I think points. would be more entertaining to see win? And I think it's the V. The V. So yeah, it is. I'm Nail biter, the V gets up, I reckon. Look, I think I'm already it. fucked in the tipping comp, boys. That's the other reason. <laughs> well, so yeah. I think it'd be cool to just pull one off like that. That's right. Yeah, right. Well, I'll go the Chooks. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll nice. put the mocker on the Chooks. Mm. I'm going to try that with Hawthorne this week, I think. Really? <laughs> Put the mocker on by tipping the other team. This next one's Why just a fucking dead set flogging, oh, surely. Yeah. Melbourne versus yeah. so South Sydney. If, even if South weren't shit, I'd go with the – the Warriors have been playing the Storm mm. on Anzac Day for years with the build-up and the fucking – all the pre-game mm. stuff that goes on, which would, you know, get your fucking adrenaline right Goose up there. Bumps, yeah. The Titans and Rabbitohs – would never have they ever played an Anzac Day game? You know what I mean. Not like, recent times, even if they least, have, yeah. it'd be fucking a long time ago. Mm. They're just not going to handle it. I don't think. Plus, yeah, cool. the Warriors in the Storm are way better than the Titans. Melbourne the are a rabbits. lot better than the Rabbitohs. I don't think the buyer will do them any justice. Nah, no chance. Should roll them here, actually. Ninety-eight percent for Melbourne. That just shows you well the lack of faith. That's gone in South Sydney. Fucking. Heartbreak written all over, Those but at least we'll be tripping. At least we'll be in They're the same fans. boat as every other cunt, you know. Yeah. Next one's easy too. Easy. I reckon. Dollar yep. thirty value. Four These cunts are playing again already. Mm, when did they play? Like round three or four. There's remember? a bit of that going on. Who's that? Manly and Para. Is that what you saying? Mm. Yeah. Manly and Para played. In round three. Is this a week for the fucking Joker boys or what? Do we even have the Joker? Mm. Not when you get a team like the Dragons. Doesn't last look week. like we do. Jeez. No, I don't think we've enabled that setting or something because I can't see it. Well, oh, no. well, don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> what about Scrap this? That. Wait, is this worry your gropes? Sadiav, five thirty at Campbelltown. Would if it said Leichhardt. No, yeah. it doesn't. Not at Campbelltown. Leichhardt, I would have been panicking. I've actually written that down. 
mm. panicked at Leichhardt, mm. but it's at Campbelltown. Mm. They've already lost at Campbelltown this year, the oh, Tigs, okay. so, you know, it's not a fortress. Yeah, it's no Wynn Stadium, there. that's for sure. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going bro. Oh, this one, on when this next one would well. worry me if I was a Penrith fan. <laughs> mm, what? Shaking in my boots. Tipping Penrith. Yep. Yeah. Tipping, tipping Penrith the well. Dolphins. Yeah. Yep. Dolphins are playing the Knights, by the way. So and Sharks in Canberra. Now, now this one here, up, no Fogarty. I'm spewing because that would be a perfect catch-up game to tip the Raiders because the Sharks are flat-track bullies. Who's the seven? Who have they put in? Let's fucking look. Right, eh? They do this team list thing mm. on Tuesdays. <laughs> mm. Bro, Sharks and Raiders played in round KO four. KO Weeks, you are kidding. He's playing so, half. KO Weeks and Ethan Strange were the two fucking teenagers going for the sixth jersey, and now they're both fucking Wow, what a starting. trifecta. They got yeah. both of them sitting in the Chevy. Oh, my goodness. Just idling. Wow. That's big for the Raiders. Pack is still solid. I've a Why? strange Chevy for weeks. <laughs> Why is there <laughs> such a... <laughs> you are uh, one of a kind. Why is there such... And two double-ups already, like these Sharks and Raiders played in round four. Oh, you got to look after round. the Sydney teams. It's fucking boys. weird, man. They don't like to travel. Doggy's got the buy. That'll be good. So are we tipping the Sharks after yeah, I'm all that? Sharks, yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. You got to. It's in Canberra. Got, why the fuck is there no Joker? I'm not happy about that. Don't know. Surely there's a way we can change it. That's an eight from eight coming up. Oh, really? Only if the Chooks win. Moral joker. I think the Dragons oh, will do you. It just says the fucking M word. Hey, <laughs> you that's grump. what you were fucking insinuating. <laughs> you fucking grump. <laughs> right, uh, let's do AFL. the AFL. Now, boys, Anzac Eve, awesome that they've implemented this, I think. The lights go out at the G. They've got cauldrons of fire. They do the whole pre-game build-up. It's awesome. It's a sight to see. It's another one of those bucket list things now, I think. Yep. The Anzac Day, obviously, traditional clash between the Bombers and Collingwood's on top of the list. But this one is um, fast becoming one as Absolutely. well. Richmond playing Melbourne. Um, I think Melbourne win by 40. Copy. Well, I'll tip them, but I won't be saying 40. I'll go 20 maybe. Richmond might step up for the occasion, but fuck, they're not looking good at the moment, man. Yeah. Well, they'll win then. <laughs> yep. Mm, yep. I'm going, man. So that's at the MCG into the very next day, 3.20, Thursday the 25th. Essendon Collingwood, this has been going for 30 years now, I think. Got to go about the dog's that 30 year mark. Probably longer. The very first one was a draw. Did you know that, Tom? No. I the didn't. very first Anzac you Day clash. Was Fuck a yeah. Draw. What a way to kick it off. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it was perfect because mm. it's like a. You go, right, oh, boys, we did it. You know, it's for the diggers and you're trying to yeah, remember them and there was no, point, no winner, you know. Anyway, I'm going to tip. It's hard, I'm isn't it? I'm tipping Collingwood, but I always – this you, is the I'd one re- game of the year where I fucking am an Essendon fan. Mate, this is perfect what you just said about the Dragons. Mm. Who would be more entertaining to see win? Essendon. Essendon. Every time. I'll go on. For Every it. time Is, is that the team we played last week, the Crows? Yeah, they can yep. go and fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, you'd be. And awesome. I hope they get fucking pounded by the dog's eyes. Every Copy. time this fixture comes up, I think of uh, was it Zaharakis. Oh, that what guy, a guy. game that fuck. was! That has to be the best Anzac Day clash. Finish the finish, finish. was unreal. It was in the wet as well. Come from behind, win. Yeah, that was unreal. What was he yeah. doing playing on? I fuck know. Every time I've watched it, I go, "You fucking idiot!" That could have been so bad. He gets hammered too. Yeah, like as he kicks it. Fucking oath. Unreal. This one for me looks hard, but it's easy for me. I'm going the Roosters. What? Are Lions you... are fucking favourites. Favourites, mate. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? At Monica. <laughs> Take not... my money. Fucking oath. Holy, near two bucks for GWS. At home. Back them till they lose at home. Bro. Go on the Rooters. Oh, Jesse Hogan's out. <laughs> Their main forward. Jesse who? Of that fucking, Hogan? <laughs> he slight little like jersey punch sort of thing. Hogan. Nah, um, fucking he'd be right. Yeah, they've got Toby Green playing. I don't know. I think I saw right. someone else's out. I still wouldn't go tip them. I'm going to tip That GWS. explains the odds just because they've got a couple of their star players out. But, yeah. Port, got to tip Port after yep. fucking that pathetic performance from the Saints, Saints. which means are they going to just be that up and down team that just beats good cunts and Think loses so. to – That's their usual role. <sighs> but uh, 
<laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Are we singing the North song next Fuck week? no, we I do would... these dogs by 40. I don't want to wish any bad juju upon you, but fuck, I would just, I wish that you could actually get on and sing it next week just because I want to see at least one of us have done it. Can't. They'll play another one of our teams We're going to yeah. pound This will be losers. a thing every single time we play North now. I'm fucked in tip and comp. I'm tipping North at Blundstone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did the same to you last yeah. week. I honestly would have loved to see you <laughs> singing today. <laughs> yeah. I've got to go Crows. I'm going say that's Bell Reeve overlay. Blunston. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's in Hobart. Yeah. Yeah. Small ground, wet, cold. Hey, do they play AFL there much? Because I thought it was like a just a cricket ground pretty much. I think they do. North and Hawthorne have always played a couple yeah, of games. I know Hawthorne season. play in Launceston. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Bit of both. There, there was always, there's always been the talk of movement moving north to Tassie. Yeah, right. which would just be catastrophic. They've well, got they a, won't need to do that anymore. They got a big fan base. There's no mm. way you could ever do it. But anyway, I'm tipping north. Yep. The blue and white. I'm going crows, but <laughs> right, I, I, I want to see Tom sing, man. This is a fucking big game. This. This is a huge game. Massive game of the round. Game of the round. Besides Saturday. Why the is it Anzac not? Day. Oh, because a fucking free out. I was like, why is it not the main game? 4.30 in the Arv. Yeah. If they had the Frio game on then, it'd actually be like 2.30 over there. Well, no. you won't be watching that one, yeah, boys. True. No, I know, but it's a <laughs> fucking going to be a ripper. So I went through and I went, I can't tip against the fucking cats at Kidinya Park. And then I looked and it's at the MCG. This is an issue. Home ga- Geelong home game at the fucking MCG. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not even going to sit here I'm and rave on calm. about it because it's a known issue. Every Geelong fan has a problem with it. It's yep. fucked. Yep. It is so stupid. We're, not a, we're me- not a Melbourne suburb. Makes no sense to me. Never Leans will. me to Carlton. I'm uh, going Cats, obviously. It's a long trip to the G. From it's a long, long <laughs> trip. Oh, they're coming from Brizzy. <laughs> She's long. Here we go again. Is it a long trip west here? <laughs> Free our favourites somehow after that dog shit performance last week and the doggies <laughs> hammered them. I think they yeah. bounced back. Same. I'm going to do it because it's long. She's long. <laughs> it's yeah. a long it's trip long. west, boys. I'm going Freo as well. Yeah. I was undecided until that very second. This sort of – that this one I hard. have no idea with just because they're both fucking average teams. It's so hard, eh? They're soaring. The wings are spread. I'm going them. Well, I'm like, does the derby take it out of them? Yes. Suns have been good at home. Derby or derby? Sorry, the fucking derby. Come on, mate. For the fuck's sake, derby. we had a word The about Western this. derby. That's um, so yeah, it's tough. It's like fucking hell. Can they do three in a row? No. Can they do it? Fucking no. oath. With the travel. Come on. We're talking about it, mate. Long trip to <laughs> the Gold Coast. <laughs> long trip east. <laughs> fucking, we're talking about what makes sport cool. Three on the trot for the fucking Eagles would be cool. I'm tipping the Suns. But yeah, you're tipping. I'm tipping oh, the Suns. Oh, well, too. I'm tipping them. It's not like Gold Coast is a fortress, but I still think they get it done at home. And now it boys. will be for the Reggies on Saturday night. Let's go to it. Yeah. One o'clock on the Sunday. I'll still Let's be up, I can in. guarantee you. <laughs> I'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fucking going somewhere. <laughs> okay, no. Uh Here we go, boys. This is where we claw them back. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> We've got, can you tip Sydney at the MCG? Yeah. Yes. So yes, you can. Hawks, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hawks are full of running. Can we do a West Coast here and go back to back, back to back wins? We have been known to go back to back to back. Mm. Oh, fuck you. And win fuck. stuff three times in a row. <laughs> so oh, I reckon a little three-game winning streak's coming up. We're right in the middle of it. Do you? MCG, Hawthorne, Sydney can't travel. No, mate, the Bloods fans are going to show the fuck nah, up. No, nah. no. The old South Melbourne. No, no. No chance. I'm on the Hawkies. Yeah. You know, well, I, <laughs> I've tipped them every fucking round. <laughs> and you will. But you wouldn't do it for your fucking Bronx. But we lost that game by 30 points. <laughs> so, anyway, hammered. we had no cunt. We had no, no Reno, no Haas. But anyway, I'm a fuck with Yeah, I'm Sydney. <laughs> uh, let's go to one of our biggest supporters, boys. Mm. Been with us from the start. Boys. 
We, Jason and I, or we, have them on the fucking fight shorts, which yeah. is unreal. They but are glorious shorts the too, print, by the, the way. The print on but the fucking fight shorts looks unreal. You can't miss. It's the big squeeze on the back on our shorts on the as shorts. well, so very recognisable. These guys, they were sick of it. They were fucking sick of it <laughs> with their glass <laughs> bottles taking them away, fishing camp, and so they fucking solved it for you. Yeah. Go to the standardsqueeze.com. Check out their full range of squeezes. They've got so many different sizes. Hopefully, you have got your hydrates. The girls love oh, them. Oh, know yeah. that. Love the big hydrates. Still keen to use mine when I'm fucking out and about on the boat or something. Lugging like them around. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, we just love them. So get over to the standardsqueeze.com. Use the code Reggie15 for your 15% off. You're losing money if you don't. Mate, it's, it's, coming into, that. it's coming into camping season. It's cooling down. The fires yep. are going to be cranking. You do not want glass when you're camping. That is a dead set A grade of move. Yep. You've don't got be a your fuck fucking. With. You've got your jersey. You've got your baggy reg. Get your squeeze. Grab some squeezes. Grab a, grab a fucking... Grab the uh, whole fucking collection. Grab a four-in-one off the reggies.com.au and then head over to the standardsqueeze.com and Do get a big shopping squeeze. spree. Get your squeeze gear. <laughs> you can afford it. It's fine. Well, get when you're getting 15% reg off, why the fuck wouldn't you? Yeah. It's oh, basically it's, free. It's massive. <laughs> yeah. You're losing if you don't buy it and use the code. <laughs> That's right. True. Right, I, are we, I don't really, I don't know here, but I've got Hetherington written down, but I kind of liked that, to be honest. <laughs> it's good to see, but Sniff for captain. I think from a different Garcia perspective, it's squeezy. It. Squeezy? No, oh, oh, sorry, not. I'm looking captain. Um, oh, yeah, squeeze. I think the ref in that fucking fight. Oh. Just me personally. I think he's a, a squeeze. Shout. That is a good shout. Just protecting Haney. Yep. Yeah, copy. Blatant. Yep. Well, like, oh, I'm to happy me. to give it to him. Let's get his squeeze. name up while Name Tommy, and fucking shame. Tommy bloke. runs through the fucking nah. CTC, yeah, CTC cap turn of the week. The big fella will be on the fight card as well. Actually, at the, the last fight, he'll be fucking tag steaming team, around. Yeah, tag team, oh, the big nut. Fuck me. So um, massive supporter of ours, guys. Best hats in the country. Um, yeah, country companies is where you go to buy one of his hats that he's got or countrytruckercaps.com to design your very own. So go and check that out, guys. Um, who are we thinking, boys, for captain? Look, I don't really. We could have give a it a Gus. Either. Is well, Garcia as captain worthy? Fucking us. Lipping and looking like a psychotic, drug fucked idiot. Yeah, the and fight, you come out and put that Fooling us on. all. The fight itself Completely fooled us. alone against Devin Haney, undefeated, next Floyd, made, Floyd Mayweather. If that's not a captain performance, I don't know what fucking is. No, I'm Did happy he drop him three times? Yeah. And was. and nearly a fourth, like he was nearly there. I yeah. just saved by the ref, should have been stopped. I just reckon. Shut everyone pretty up, good. pretty much. Copy. Any doubts. Right so over on. Oh, you can have it. Keeping it in the same uh, vicinity. King, those two right, well, we might be. I've just come up with another one. Squeeze worthy. Going back, squeeze. Mm. <laughs> this poor cunt uh, who refereed the Haney Garcia, his name is <laughs> Harvey Doc. <laughs> so. <laughs> So it could be him or the fucking umpire in the Crows game. Oh, oh yeah. Just actually. some awesome fucking officiating yeah, in the weekend. That can't. Just refs in general. Should we spread it out and we'll go Garcia for captain? Well, that's can a just, good idea. Or, yeah. And then the two refs can dock. <laughs> I was going to say that. Too. <laughs> uh, to it. Harvey can dock yeah. the, uh, the umpire in the AFL. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Look into each other's Right, Righto, that's prime. Um, righto. That's about it. Mm. All we got time for. We will wrap it up there. And massive, I say it every week, but this is a genuine massive weekend ahead. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We, you, sorry, will hear from us Friday morning for the punch show from the Gold Coast. And it will be an audio-only episode. Audio-only, no YouTube. Yeah, we'll just have, fuck, it'll just be us dribbling whatever motel we're in. Yeah. You know, just... You know, we'll have all of our shit. The there. Reggies will be in some fucking beaten up motel that we can just afford. Yeah, oh, scrape yeah. in. Yeah. Tommy will be at some coast. fucking mansion. Yeah, I'll get a lift over. Penthouse to floor at the cast. <laughs> get the chopper over. I've got a nose. I'll get a nosebleed up there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I can't wait to see. Uh, well, come to you on uh, Friday morning and hopefully we'll see heaps of you this week. Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. Can't All the best. All right.